everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. If you are new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. I'm going to do a swipe technique on a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And recently I've been doing a whole bunch of colorful paintings, which I love color, but I wanted to soften it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be using um, three different metallic co colors on a white base. This is antique copper. 24 karat gold, and a rose gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas with white and then lay my colors down to swipe. Now that my canvas is covered in white, I'm gonna use my blowtorch to pop the air bubbles. Now I was visiting with my sister this past weekend and she asked me what, what this was. She goes, what kind of torch is it? So it is, it's just a culinary tor torch, that's all it is. I have a larger one that I use for bigger paintings i also have a smaller one. So it just whatever you have, a heat gun will work as well. Um, so yeah, that, it's just a culinary torch and you can find it on Amazon. Just pop in the air bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my colors down. And like I said, I just want it to be a soft, soft palette. I want it to have some shimmer, of course, because I'm using metallics. Here we go, just right down the middle. That's antique copper, and it did not. Thought I was already pouring, but apparently I wasn't. Oops. There we go. And start with the gold down here. And we're just gonna run it straight like that. And I didn't get any off the side there either. Not starting it correctly <laughs> for me. You can do it however you want to. All right, and then I'm going to do the rose gold. I'm going to intertwine it like this. Okay. Now, my white that I'm going to swipe with, that's the color, it has Australian Floetrol in it. My base, which I said earlier, I believe, has American Floetrol and water, and then my colors just have some Floetrol in them. And maybe a little bit of water just to consistency. The swiping tools that I'm going to use, it is a placemat that I bought at the dollar store and I just cut it up into different sizes. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of Australian Floetrol in this container. It doesn't take a whole lot. I'm just going to put it down there. And I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, and I'm going to dip right there just a little bit, just so I have a little rim. And then I'm gonna pull it over my colors. And start kind of in the middle. Like I said, I just want this to be soft. Very soft. In between swipes, you want to Wipe off your tool. Here I go again. Just wipe it down. Wipe my tool off. Okay. Just pulling down gently. There we go. Pull some of that gold in there. There we go. Pretty. Look at all those cells. That's from the Australian Floetrol. And I'm pushing down, but I'm not pushing. Oops, oops. But I'm not pushing down really hard. Don't want that. So I'm going to use my best eraser, my finger, and get that out of there. We'll do the same thing here. 
did not mean to do that. All right. Let me get my tool again. Pull it down from the middle all the way down. There we go. It's very pretty. Want that. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down from the middle. There we go. There's no right and wrong in this. There we go. And you don't need a whole lot on your swiper. Okay, and just keep on going. Pull some of that gold through and bronze. There we go. Got me another paper towel. You need to have a clean paper towel, otherwise, you'll get your col colors kind of muddy. There we go. Ooh, that looks pretty. Boy, that rose gold sure does take over, doesn't it? I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. Let's see what I get and then, oops, I can always come back and redo it. But it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Grab this and just pull it down. There we go. I like the effects it's giving me. It's really pretty. There we go. That rose gold definitely takes over 100%. So, and there's not, it doesn't look like there's a lot of gold. So we are going to feed some gold through there. Oops, oops, went a little too far. I need a little bit more of this Aussie Floetrol in white. And just pull it down. So we had a good visit at my sister's this weekend. It was my niece. Well, my great niece. It was her one year old birthday. It was a lot of fun. Family got together. Been very few and far between over the last couple of years. So it was very nice to all finally get together. We really had a good time. Okay. And then my poor sister ended up sick. So that wasn't very fun. She got sick on Sunday. No, it wasn't COVID. She has a sinus infection. But at least we got to enjoy, enjoy time with her before she got sick. Okay. I think it's much better with the, with the gold added. I like it. Much better. Okay. You don't need too much. Like, I've got a, just a thin layer on my little swipe tool. There we go. We don't even need that much that I had a second ago. Just need a little bit. Just enough to kind of go over the, over the colors. And then we'll continue to develop. See, over here, how it's continued. 
more cells have come up. This is going to be a big one over here because I accidentally dumped that <laughs> gold paint. I'm pretty good at doing that. I've done it so many times. Okay. There we go. Got a couple more swipes here. The towel even looks so pretty. So that's what I'm wiping my swipe tool on. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, let me bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here is the final piece. Let me take you down so you can see all the cells. Now, those are all metallics. Gold, antique copper, and rose gold. It's really pretty. Kind of looks like a bunch of animal print. I like it. It's beautiful. It's a lot softer color palette. Let me turn my studio lights off so that you can see the shimmer. Okay, I've got my studio lights off. And you can see all the sparkle. But it is beautiful. It is. Looks like an animal print. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so anytime I release a new video, it will let you know. Until next time, you have a great day. Bye.